Howdy folks, this is Iron Horse Fan, and this special episode talks about a brand new railroad game that was just announced a couple of days ago. This exciting announcement has been met with much praise and real hype. Talk about a literal hype train. In this episode, we are going to analyze what was seen in the trailer of this brand new game, which goes by the name of Century of Steam. Yes, you read that correct. Century of Steam, which will be a railroad tycoon slash train simulator type game where you get to build railroads, drive trains, deliver passengers and cargo, and even play online with friends. So, this is some really cool stuff that we're getting. I mean, we already have a game similar to this called Railroads Online, but due to circumstances that I would rather not talk about on YouTube, that game sadly did not make it to success. So, it, it's days maybe numbered, let's just put it that way. But this brand new game looks very promising, and it was developed by a dedicated team, which is led by a former member of the Railroads Online dev team by the name of Heiss. The developer is known as Studio 346, numbered after a famous narrow-gauge steam locomotive that runs at the Colorado Railroad Museum in Golden, that was once part of the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad, one of my top five favorite fallen flags of the American West. Century of Steam is focused on creating a three-foot narrow-gauge railroad with historical equipment built between 1869 and 1969. Yes, you heard that correct, 1969, which means we are going to have more modern equipment, such as that diesel on the far left. More about that later in the video, though. Let's check out some screenshots from the trailer that I got. Here is the opening of the trailer, and I must say this is spectacular. This is like a painting, practically. Really, I'm very impressed with what I see here. We got a train going through like a, for a mountain forest and a cabin at nighttime with the moon above and the stars. And we got a lake, I think, down below. And we got the lights of the passenger cars and the smoke coming from the steam locomotive. If you watch the trailer, it has a very dramatic whistle in this scene. This pretty much confirms that there will be day and night cycles. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are weather cycles as well, including rain, sun, snow, even dust storms, depending on where you are, which I will get to in a minute. But again, to you, Heiss, and your team, you are doing an awesome job. I just want you to know that right now. I am very impressed with what I've seen so far. Next up, we have Locomotive 13 here on a turntable. And it looks like she has antlers on the top of her headlamp. Now that is a really cool little detail. I've always loved mounting antlers to my locomotives. And it was actually a very prototypical thing that they did back in the Old West. So I love that in this game you'll be able to modify trains a lot more than you did in Railroads Online. And as some of you may know, I am a huge fan of customizing trains. Big time. In this scene we have what looks like a train at the docks supposedly in San Francisco Bay Area, but I am not 100%, I am just speculating. But it looks like there will be steamboats in the game, which means maybe we could drive these trains to like, like the docks here, and people get off the ferry and hop on a train to go, so, to go like uh, another part of the map, which I think would be really cool because you, don't, you didn't get this kind of thing in Railroads Online. There were no coastlines whatsoever. But it will be cool to see what it's like having a train go to the docks to pick up passengers from a ferry or a steamboat. One thing that made Railroads Online feel very incomplete was the fact that it had no passenger service whatsoever in it. Yet this game has already shown that you can haul passengers, which I think is really cool. And this screenshot here of the inside of a passenger car is just truly amazing and I can only imagine that maybe you could be a conductor for this scene and uh, collect passengers tickets as you're walking through the train who knows maybe they'll give you a job like that maybe you can like pick jobs or something in the game but 
again, this is just speculation. Do not, do not take my word for this. Just take this info with a grain of salt. But my guess is there could potentially be different jobs for different players to do, like someone collecting tickets like a conductor and then the engineer driving a train and whatnot. You get the idea. So we'll see what happens. Now this screenshot really got me excited. I am not going to lie. A, what looks like a mining town in Nevada, particularly the, the Tahoe region. And guess what the landscape is there. Yes, as some of you know, I love the desert. And seeing this just really got me excited. So oh, it seems like we do have a desert to be confirmed in the game. And like, and the city resembles like Virginia City or Carson City or one of those cities that was served by the Virginia and Truckee Railroad, although that was a standard gauge railroad. There were narrow gauge railroads in the region, so I wouldn't be surprised if this particular area is based on um, northern Nevada near the Sierras. But I am really excited to see that we have a desert in this game because no landscape represents the wild wild west more than a desert landscape another thing that got my attention in this shot was the town and the mining facility in the background it looks like you're going to be able to probably build towns as you build your railroad and serve industries something you couldn't do in railroads online well i mean you can serve industries and in railroads online but there are no towns whatsoever but it looks like Century of Steam is about to change all that. And it just looks absolutely amazing. This is actually very reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption, which I hope to feature in a future episode. Here we have what looks like a work train, like a legit work train. This is actually really cool. And I think it would be really neat to have a train uh, carrying rails and ties like carry it to a railhead and then have you lay down the groundwork in front of you kind of like how they did in real life back in the day so this is very reminiscent of like the building of the transcontinental railroad and whatnot so i think um if they actually like require you to have a work train to build a railroad that could be pretty cool if you ask me here we have a locomotive that's similar to the Glenbrook pulling a train through what looks like a carved out um, landscape for laying your track. Something that was long requested in Railroads Online but never got around to it so Century of Steam is definitely making an improvement on that. Speaking of which, another confirmed feature, tunnels. Tunnels were also not featured in Railroads Online. Man, every scene in this trailer keeps impressing me more and more. I really cannot wait to play this game. Just look at that blowdown as it crosses over the trussle. That is just phenomenal. Okay, now this shot really is awesome. We have what looks like a 46010 wheeler based on Southern Pacific number 18 and similar 460 Baldwins on narrow gauge barreling down what looks like a high desert with mountains in the background. Now, again, I'm not a developer so I don't know much, but I am assuming that this is based on what was known as the Carson and Colorado Railroad, later Southern Pacific narrow gauge, because that locomotive greatly resembles that of the Slim Princess and her sisters and it ran in the high deserts of western Nevada and eastern California right on the edge of the Sierra Nevadas which obviously is what you see in the background most likely so I am going to bet that this area is based on where the Carson in Colorado operated during the heyday and I am really excited to operate in desert territory now we go to a snowy mountain area. Talk about from one extreme to another, quite literally in terms of desert to mountains, as well as one form of power to the other, because in this shot, yes, you see that correctly, those are diesels. In a game called Century of Steam, 
there will be diesels featured. Now remember, this game takes place from 1869 to 1969, and 1969 was well into the diesel era, so it obviously makes sense that they would add these. This area is obviously based on the White Pass and Yukon Railroad up in Alaska and Yukon Territory, so it's obvious there will be more than one map. Apologies for saying obviously a hundred times. So seeing this really got my attention. You actually get a snow plow on the front of this locomotive pulling a passenger car. And this likely confirms weather patterns and all that. Or also this could be like based specifically on this area because it is a snowy map versus like a desert map or something. But my guess is uh, weather patterns will still be a thing on any map that you can choose from. But just look at this scene here where this train is just plowing through all that snow. Just, just breathtaking. Now this could also be a seasonal thing. One thing Railroads Online did have, although it was automatically generated, was different seasons. However, I think it'd be kind of cool to be able to control the seasons in this game from like snow to summer or like um, let's say you're on a map during springtime and you have flowers everywhere and then you switch to fall on the same map and flowers are gone but the trees have fall leaves on them. That is something that would be really cool to see in this. So this really intrigued me. Heist, if you're watching this, please let me know what this type of thing is. Because even though I know a ton about railroading, I have no idea what that wooden pole is for use between the boxcar and the Glenbrook shown here. I'm assuming it's used to push cars into sidings. But again, uh, this is probably something that you know that I don't. So... Please feel free to uh, enlighten me on what kind of operation this is. Still looks interesting. So that pretty much wraps up the analysis of the announcement trailer for Century of Steam. However, I did want to share this screenshot that I found on the Facebook page. And from the looks of it, we will have quite the variety of steam locomotives and modifications and... From the looks of it, a really detailed roundhouse, turntables, and just look at the vegetation. I mean, I know I've said this before, but I really am a desert geek, and I am really excited for the deserts in this game. And to see, like, the succulents there, or the yuccas, which are those interesting-looking plants that are next to the tracks and around the turntable, that just really blows me away, because, again, I love the desert. I can't wait to operate in it. That's the most western landscape there is to me. I'm looking forward to the whole game, but I am definitely looking forward to the desert maps for sure. Anyways, this is it for the trailer. Great job, Heiss, and the team from Studio 346. I am Iron Horse fan. May your lights be green on the high iron, and the best of luck with you guys in making this project a reality. Thanks for watching.